installing Odoo by using Docker instead of installing it directly in your operating system. So what is Docker exactly? In an easy way, we can say that Docker is a way of providing your app in a box where everything is already installed and configured, packages, dependencies, etc. And you just need to run it. This box, we call it in Docker container and it's based on a Docker image. We will see this uh, in the details in this video. So first of all, we will try to install uh, Docker in our operating system and we will start with updating the Ubuntu packages. Then we will install some dependencies that we will need for uh, Docker. By the way, you can check all these commands in in the official website doc, docs.docker.com as you can see in the top and you will find all the commands that you need to install Docker. This is the last command for installing Docker. As you can see here, before we don't have any Docker uh, command in our Ubuntu system, but after installing this, we will see that we have multiple Docker commands that we can use. It's done. As you can see here, we have multiple commands, docker, docker rootless, a lot of uh, docker commands, but for us, the most important is the docker command. We clear. Okay. Another interesting website is the docker hub. This is where all the images exist, and this is where we will use our Udo image. From this image, we can create the container that we talked about, the box full of tools, and then run our Odoo. So first, we will start with uh, using the PostgreSQL image, because this is another app, it is a database app, and we will run the container that is responsible for this database, because Odoo is connecting with PostgreSQL database. As you can see here, this is Docker run. And at the end, we specify which image we want to, to run for the container. Here, this is Udo as image. And this is Docker 10 is the tag. And in this case, it's the version of the database. So we will take this and then we will run it. There is other parameters in this command, like the, the PostgreS user, we specified its Udo and the password also, etc. Here we are loading the image from the Docker Hub, and after that, based on this image, we will run the container the box, as we said, the box full of tools. We just need to run it. Now it's done. And if we check Docker images, we will see that we have now the image PostgreS. The tag is 10, the version, and it was created 
42 hours ago. And here we have our container. If we type Docker PS, we see our containers, the possibly as and the statue it, it was running just 17 seconds ago. If we do it again, Docker PS, now it's 36 seconds. It's just now. The container was created just now. We clear and then now we go back to run our Udo container based on the image Udo. As you can see here, we have uh, a parameter linked where we link the database to the DB container. Because in the top, our container name is DB, name DB. So we are connecting the container of the database to, to our Udo container so that they can work together. Now we run like with the PostgreSQL container. We are loading the Udo image now and after loading the Udo image, we will create the, con the Udo container. Just for your information, Docker run is for running containers and Docker images to show the images in the Docker. And if we say Docker PS is for showing the containers in Docker. In this section, we are not giving a tutorial about Docker, but just how we run Udo by, by using Docker. There will be another tutorial regarding uh, Docker installation and usage. You can check my courses if it's available and you can watch it if you want. Here, if we say localhost 1869, now we have our running Udo, as you can see. If we stop now, it stopped. We can start it again by using this command, docker stop Udo or docker start minus a Udo. So if we do docker stop Udo, now it stopped. And if we do docker start, it will be running again. Even if we now do control C, my our our docker will still be running. Stop it. Okay, this is the the first way of running Odoo. There is another way. It's the same, but we add another parameter, call it minus V, which stands for volume, where we connect the Odoo configuration inside the container to another folder outside the container, so that we have control on this folder all we have to do is to create uh, this folder but first let's make some some organization we'll create a docker odo folder where we will put our uh, auto configuration folder we create the config and then the auto conf file 